Grace Missionary Church. My name is uh, Kabochi Mbombi. I come from Botswana. And can you tell us the reasons that brought you to Charis Missionary Church? Um, one of the reasons that why we came here uh, was uh, we wanted uh, uh, spiritual guidance and we, uh, we needed to know what God is saying, uh, especially that uh, 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 my, uh, my brother this side has just started a ministry and we needed to know what's God's uh, um, uh, guidance in terms of uh, how we should go and how we should start it. Yes. And for how long have you been uh, praying or thinking about this? Um, f uh, for some time now, it has been very difficult uh, because we were supposed to have been here, it's like uh, three weeks ago, and uh, every time we called, uh, we would hear, uh, especially the time that we, there were those, uh, uh, what do you call the, uh, the xenophobia time, and we couldn't come, and then um, we, uh, we called some, uh, last week, and then we heard he was in Namibia, and we were about to even um, give up, and but we could see that the devil really w was trying to stop us from coming here because um, uh, men of God this side uh, kept having some dreams, uh, God showing him that he's supposed to come here and be prayed for, uh, especially the financial side of it. And uh, we were working very hard to come here, and uh, we have been struggling to come here. And we thank God we are here, and we just... Uh, uh, planned it uh, two days back. That's when we just said, you know what? If man of God is there, let's just squeeze and just uh, uh, catch the devil of God and go to Charis uh, ministry. Yes, and we are here. We and how, how were these things, these challenges, these things that kept on happening when you were supposed to come here, how were they affecting you? Uh, they were really affecting us because uh, uh, even financially, uh, there are some uh, pr uh, businesses that we are trying to start and we could clearly see that the devil was fighting our accounts and we, we had a clear understanding that uh, this can only be the devil. And uh, especially that uh, even before we saw that coming, men of God decide, uh, God showed him that uh, he, should, he should have been here before we even tried to start uh, the business that we were trying to start. And now um, it was a confirmation because we started it before we were here, before we were prayed for, and everything uh, kind of uh, went down or didn't go our way. Then we realized that indeed this is God's uh, intervention. Uh, we are supposed to be here to be prayed for so that our things can go um, the way God wants them to go. And you finally had that opportunity of seeing the man of God on one-on-one. -on -one. Can you tell us what he said to you and also confirm it? What men of God told us is pretty much uh, what we were anticipating and even more. Uh, because what we were thinking of, uh, uh, we thought maybe he was going to talk mo main mainly about our financial breakthroughs, uh, men of God's ma uh, financial breakthrough. But when he, he got here, 
he spoke uh, now clearly about a uh, uh, man of God's calling. And he clearly uh, spoke uh, uh, and he even responded to, uh, so I say, repeated some of the, uh, the prophecies that men of God received from other men of God. Uh, and he, he, he just hit them head on. And uh, now we are very sure that this was, uh, this was clearly uh, a divine intervention. Um, and, and we are confident about it and we are very happy about it. Mm. And can you tell us how do you feel that today you got uh, the direction that you were praying about? I'm so happy about uh, the word of God uh, that I received from uh, a man of God. Now I can do the work of God confidentially without having any doubts. Uh, because uh, a lot of things have been said concerning me and then it put me uh, into a corner of confusion. That's when I started saying, you know, you know what, I have to seek uh, guidance from uh, someone who has got a greater grace than me. That's when I decided to come to come here for guidance. Yes, ma'am. And now, what is it that you are believing God is going to do for you? Mm. We are we because we have been. Uh, uh, it, it wasn't our first time to see the testimonies of uh, this ministry. We are now very confident that once a uh, uh, man of God has spoken to us, definitely things will never be the same. Especially that uh, um, the dreams that uh, man of God has been having, uh, that we are supposed to be here. We are finally here and we are sure that God is definitely going to open doors for us. We are going to move forward and the devil is going to uh, lose grip over our finances to keep moving forward. And his ministry, ma mainly the ministry, because men of God decide, uh, he has always been receiving uh, te uh, prof uh, prophecies that he's, he's going to be a very great man of God. And the devil is really, really fighting it. He doesn't want it to even uh, raise uh, the ministry to, to, to leave the ground. But now we are sure that uh, having been here uh, on the grounds, the holy ground of uh, Apostle uh, Makananisa, we are very sure that uh, the devil has finally lost his grip over the ministry of men of God. And it will rise as at the speed that God wants it to. Amen. Charis Missionary Church. Awarani Raparani. Stain Plukwane. But home is Venda Chirosiku. And can you tell us the challenges that made you to come here for a one on one? Yeah, I mean, uh, stagnant, stagnant in life. Career stagnant, weird dreams, and then uh, I know uh, the, this will be the place for me to get solution because I, I trust the grace of this house. And uh, it was so difficult for me to be here since I came here last February. But then I, I, I notice, sorry, I'm, I'm seeking deep and deeper, and I need, I'm, I miss the grace of this house. Because I know when I'm here, I go back imparted, I go back knowing how to pray, I go back with the word from the man of God. That's why I'm here. Because what is important is to receive the word. The word will conquer every problems that you are facing or any kind of stagnant that's why i just needed to be under this roof and for how long have you been facing this stagnation it's been a while uh, i'm a person well Lord, i've been uh, i've been struggling with the issue of starting things and i don't finish i resume something and it's not complete and then I, I, I then re realized that my career is under attack. Uh, that's why I decided to come here. And how was this affecting you? Look, it's a stagnant. If career is not moving, basically everything around you won't function. Uh, Health-wise, I was also I'm also diagnosed with a BP. Of which man of God, he also stated something which is coming from the family. And then he prayed for me and I believe that I'm delivered. As from now on, I'll maintain my health, eat good food, and make sure that I stay healthy all the time. And what is it that you were believing God was going to do for you when you decided to come for a one-on-one? -on -one? I'm here for a huge relief. 
one thing I know, as long as I'm under this roof, I, I don't live normal. Uh, there's a lot of things that I see happening. That's what I'm saying. Since I came here last year, February, I, it was so difficult to, for me to come back here. But I thank God that it happened that I'm here today. And I'm sure all things that I wanted will be, will be fine. And today you saw the man of God one-on-one -on -one and you he, he said he told you about the issue of BP. What other things did he tell you and can you also confirm it? One of the other things he touched on is about the future. The future is bright. I don't need to be scared. I must be calm, calm. And I made the right decision to come here. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling grateful. I thank God.